Hey lovely Simleys, it's Deligracy here with a makeover of my current LP house, the Ballantines and Wilkins. They just needed a bit of a makeover, you know, it just gets to that point in the game where they're aging up and you're just sick of seeing them in the same clothes and the same hair, so, you know... They're growing up, they're maturing, so they need a little bit of a changeover. Now, I know some of these looks not all of you guys are going to like, but uh, I'm going with my gut feeling. I can't make everyone happy, unfortunately, as much as, I was as, much as I'd like to. But uh, going with that, I feel like these characters... I guess how these characters... De uh, I think how these characters are developing, I think that's what I'm going with. Gosh, I'm struggling to talk today. <laughs> Anyways... This is Liberty and Liberty is not a young adult now. She has a job. She's joined the business career and a lot of you guys were saying she was dressing like a teenager still. So we have a few looks for her that you probably just saw. She has like a leopard skirt and nice black t-shirt. She's gone back to her glasses, which she had as a child and um, embracing those glasses. She looks like a very lovely businesswoman. Uh, some of her body was a little bit out of proportion during her teen years. So I did a slight change of her body shape. Um, very, very slight. Don't worry. Uh, just because her posture was looking a bit weird. Um, and yeah, I'm just loving her glasses. And I love her hair back with her glasses. I think it looks really nice. For her formal wear, it's got this... Well, she's got this nice lilac dress there with her hair parted to the side. When she did the age up, she had a shorter cropped hair look. But I'm going to say she grew her hair out a little bit because I really wanted her to have the tied back hairstyle. And her hair wouldn't have been long enough to suit that style had we kept it the other way. So her hair's grown a little bit. The other one uh, in the family whose hair has grown significantly is Desiree. Uh, Desiree had a short pixie crop. And I know some of you guys are going to hate seeing it go. But uh, a lot of you guys were saying that you really liked her short bob. And I was missing the bob. I really wanted it back. So her hair's grown out a bit too. Uh, in a bit. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. But Liberty, I I think I like her look. I think she looks sophisticated, uh, but not not like too old or anything like that. She just no, she looks nice, and I like her formal wear. I like her glasses too. And whether she ends up with Miles or Desmond, we'll see what happens. Or Nicholas Flamel, uh, I'm sure I'm sure they'll think she looks very gorgeous in her clothes. And I do like that dress. We were going to go with the grey dress, but I felt it made her look a little bit washed out. So, yeah. Uh, Xavier, I was really happy with his clothes, so I left them. Um, Ashton, he's got similar attire on, but we're just changing up the colours of his clothes. He's so bulky. He's like a Hulk, so... <laughs> It's like, what do we dress him in? Uh, Trinity Trinity ages up in like a day. So we just got rid of a few of her outfits. And I just gave her a nice uh, blue kind of halter neck top there for the last day. <laughs> the last day of her as an adult. It's so sad. And then, of course, Cody. Cody old man. <laughs> he, he's got some clothes on here. I swear his hair was brown, though. Not grey in the last part. I don't really know what happened there, but it looks like he's wanting to embrace his gray hair. So, all right, we'll, we'll keep it gray then. <laughs> I just only realized that then. Um, Carter. Carter, it's really funny. Some of you guys think Carter is a total tryhard. I kind of agree. I think he's he's trying to be way cooler than he is. But you know what? It's getting the ladies. So his look is kind of a bit badass. He wears a lot of black. He's just discovered boots and jeans, which I think is hard on boys <laughs> um so I do I do like that look but you know he's got a few different looks um he's got the snapback cap and oh my gosh there is such a split opinion on snapbacks like I like a cap on a guy boy flagrancy my boyfriend would not be seen would not be seen in a snapback but I like them I like them I don't know about you guys do you guys like snapbacks because I do uh but then a lot of my friends don't, so I don't know. It seems very divided. Anyway, Desiree's hair's about to grow out. She's growing out her blue hair, and Trinity is very happy about that, I'm sure. She has got her jeans on, uh, her boyfriend jeans. And you know what? Pretty much the whole rest of this video is figuring out what kind of girl Desiree is as a teen. And I just struggled with this. I was like, I don't know. But 
I've decided that Desiree is a very pretty sim. Like, she's really pretty when you look at her close up. Very pretty. And, but I don't think she wants to be that pretty girl. Like, she doesn't want that pretty girl look. She really, she likes being a bit grungy. She doesn't like particularly bright colors. She may take after her brother a little bit, Carter, in like what he wears. I get rid of the glasses because she looks like she thinks she's way too cool, which I don't think Desiree thinks. <laughs> so we do lose the glasses in a second. But at the same time, she's got a real tomboyish look about her. Like, I don't think she'd really want to wear pink dresses or anything like that. Um, so I was just trying to figure out what clothes, I don't know, she looked relaxed in and not like she was trying too hard, that just looked Desiree. So we go with um, a lot of black, actually. She wears a lot of black. So we'll say during her teens, all the teens at this point, she's going through a bit of a rocker punk stage, but um, she has a little bit of color here and there, but mostly pretty dark. She likes her ripped shorts and her boots and just plain tees and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we, we do get through her eventually. <laughs> She's kind of the girl who would wake up in the morning. She wouldn't really like put any makeup on or barely anything and just kind of put on simple tops. But I have a feeling that a lot of boys are going to like her. And I have put one boy in town, which one of you similes actually made. And I thought he was really perfect for her. He has purple hair, I think. He's really cool. And uh, I know I didn't really do a Desiree dating, speed dating video, which I've done for Liberty and Carter, just because um, really I'm I'm keen to continue with the Let's Play and I felt like this guy was pretty perfect for Desiree for now. Uh, if you guys do want to make a sim for Desiree or if you do have a sim that you think would be great for her, just hashtag Desiree BF. Oh, and the other thing is uh, a lot of you guys were thinking that Desiree was gay. Um, and I think obviously not all of you, but some of you obviously were heavily influenced by the fact she had short pixie cut hair and that she is a tom bit of a tomboy. But the reason why I have decided for her to be straight in this LP is because I don't want to go with the a girl with short hair and who is a tomboy is gay stereotype. I, don't, I, just, I just don't like stereotypes and that's why. Um, we will, I'm sure at some point I will have a gay female sim. Uh, there's no reason why like I haven't had a gay female sim in any of my let's plays yet. It just hasn't happened. Um, but at some point there will be. So, um, yeah, don't, don't worry. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll be one at some point, but not Desiree. Uh, she's going to be straight and yeah, I don't know. I, I like her look. She's a bit tomboyish, but I do like that. She's got her, got her cute little bob back. I, I like that haircut. I think it's cute, suits her. And it's kind of, it's the same as Sandy's actually, which is really funny because if Carter ended up with Sandy, uh, he would totally be going for a girl that looked like his sister, which is really, it's funny how common it is for people to either search for people who look like themselves or their siblings because, I don't know, I think sometimes you're attracted to familiar, familiarity. Obviously nothing ancestral because that would be really wrong and <laughs> but it's funny how that does happen. Um, oh, it's just interesting. <laughs> so you never know. Um, but then some of you guys, I feel like after that comment, you'd be like, what, Dolly? That's just weird. So I do apologize. That wasn't meant to be Orkies in any way. But yeah, Desiree, this is pretty much her final outfit here. But I hope you guys approve. And I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're on the world. I'll speak to you soon.